Hello everybody and welcome back to UK Dive. If it's your first time here then just welcome. I'm very glad to see you here and I'm very glad to be here. And what I've got for you today is a little review of this, which is the Apex VX2 mask. So yes guys, this is the VX2 mask and it was released a couple of weeks ago now maybe and I have to say this mask is phenomenally expensive or it's phenomenally expensive in the UK but we'll get on to that. So the VX2 is obviously the front runner to the VX1. The VX1's been out for a few years now and I know it's got an almost cult-like following. A lot of people liked it. I however thought it was a bag of shite and you can read my review. It's actually on my website. I'll leave a link up there but basically Apex was trying to shaft us. So <laughs> This is the VX1, this is the grey one, this is not mine, both of these have been bought by a friend and I'll get onto them. But basically the VX1 was the mask that Apex released and it was very, very expensive, but you can actually buy an Aqualung version which was exactly the same, check out that website, for half the price and you got what was in my opinion a better box with it. But anyway, that's the VX1, we're talking today about the VX2. So the VX2 is £162. Now I'll show you here on the website. This is Apex's website, Apex UK, and you'll see here it's got some blurb about the VX2 and about what it is. And again, we've got the usual crap about it being super clarity clear glass so you can see better than something. It doesn't really specify what we can see better, but it's more clarity. And I always like the way that companies do this. They basically compare the new product to the old product and basically call the old product shit. So what they're saying is this one was shit. It had a shit field of view, which I agree, it did have a shit field of view. And this one is better than the previous shit versions. <laughs> it's, it's funny how they do that kind of market, isn't it? This was brilliant until they released this. And then suddenly this is shite. So it, it, it is very interesting. So anyway, let's crack into the box and we'll take a look. So we do have this plastic free packaging and again I'll get on to that because I've got an issue with that and then we have basically in fact not basically I think it is exactly this is the box from the VX1 this is the box from the VX2 and as you can see identical and there's an issue with that and I will talk to you about that in a minute but let's focus on the mask so as we open it up guys I do note that look at what it says what's in the box on the website yeah, nothing. You see, Apex can't even be asked to fill the website in properly. That's how much they care about us UK divers, okay? They like taking our money, but they don't like putting the investment in. So what's in the box? They don't know, I'm not going to tell you. Well, obviously, the mask, okay? So I've got that here, and I don't know, I'll do some close-up shots and all that kind of jazz. We'll have a look at it. So my friend Ian has bought this. This is his mask, and I'm afraid this is a tabletop only review, and the only reason for that is he's buggering off to Scapa on Friday, so I've only got this for this evening, this afternoon, this evening, to do a quick look and a review for you before I've got to take it back to him tomorrow, because I won't see him then before he goes up to Scapa. So we will have a chat with him when he gets back from Scapa, and I might do a little update, or what I might do is post a little post on YouTube and tell you to go to the website, and I'll do a little update for a live view. Now, Ian is an Apex fan. He is definitely an Apex fanboy. Excuse me, I just shut my watch up. Shut up. There we go. It's a pain in the ass. Ian is an Apex fanboy, and when this came out first, I said to him, I messaged him, and I said, uh, "Have you seen the new Apex VX2 mask?" And he was like, "Of course he had. He's an Apex fanboy." So, of course he had. And I was like, "Are you going to buy it?" It's, oh no, no, no! It's way too expensive. 162 quid. That's ridiculous for a mask. 162 pounds. Does it look like 160? It's a mask. It's that. I mean, you that. That's insane, isn't it? But anyway, we'll get on to that. Um, so he bought this and he's like, no, no, I'm not paying, I'm not paying that. I said, yeah, you will, go on, you buy it, you buy it. And anyway, I planted the seed, didn't it? And it was maggoting away in his little head. And this guy's got more money than God to spend on, on dive gear. So anyway, I got a message off him the other day saying, guess what I've ordered? I said, you've ordered the mask, haven't you? And he said, yes, he had ordered the mask. But he'd not paid full price for it. He'd got a... Um, he got a £15 discount off, off one of the retailers, so he'd only paid £145 for it, and which is ironic because if you just have a look here, you can buy it off Amazon at the moment to be delivered Wednesday. Today's Sunday, I can deliver it, have it delivered off Amazon Wednesday for £105. So it's like everything else, Apex release, guys. It's a stupid price to get you Apex fanboys, zealots, to buy it for stupid money, and then it comes down to something like not quite so stupid, although £100 for a mask is still a bit stupid if my book. But £162 as of today, which is the 
1st, 2nd of July, early July. Most of the retailers in the UK are still knocking this out for 162, although some of them are starting to give special offers to start shifting them. The mask itself, well, let's be honest, it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? And if Apex just come and said, this is a mask that looks awesome, I think even I'd buy that. But some of the bollocks that they put on here about it, you know, it's super comfortable because it's got matte, shine, matte bits and gloss bits. What? It's just rubbish. The glass. Well, yeah, you can see through it like every other glass mask that I've had since I started diving 11 years ago. Is it any more clear? It doesn't appear to be, no. It seems to be just as clear as any other modern mask. You know, back in the day, we had these green tinted masks because there was a lot of iron in the glass. There's no iron in glass. That hasn't been for years. And, and they all sort of say, oh, yeah, we've got the clearest glass. I must have really shit eyes because I can't tell the difference between one or the other. The metal bit around the outside, yeah. Um, you know, they advertise it again, if we have a look, you know, it's a super sturdy, strong mask, you know, can, can tackle the environment, the, you know, the, the difficult diving environment. Like any other mask that I've had. Uh, again, I don't know. What, do you, what are you doing with your masks, Apex, that you need a stainless steel version? I mean, is this for literally when you swim into that rock face? It looks cool. What's the practicality of having a stainless steel frame around the outside? Another bit that they put in there is like, oh, well, use a replaceable lenses. For what? I'm not, do you know what I mean? Do they sell like prescription ones of that? It doesn't say on the website. It just says users can swap out the ultra clear lenses. There's not even a recommendation that you can buy some extra spare lenses. So I, I don't know, I just don't know enough about these lenses, you know, is that a real practicality? You know, you can take an Allen key to this, take them out and swap them out for some prescription lenses, or I don't know, any more of the bullshit lenses, you know, the, the purple ones for when you're working on a computer, or, you know, the yellow ones for when you're driving up in the dark or something, do you know what I mean? Or one of the other flavors, you know, that's fourth element, they come out with a whole range a couple of years ago that, again, just full of shite you know, uh, stops, you know, harmful x-rays and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, just, just really interesting. But it does look cool. Talking about the field of vision. Let's slap it on. Um, it's not bad, okay? I can still see more here than I can in my X-Deep one that's, that's a lot bigger mask. Um, does it look low volume? It seems to stick out a little bit. And I think what the, my first thought when I saw it on their model was actually it looked quite small, but put, looking at it on me now and I'm look, admiring myself, it doesn't look that small, although this bit seems quite sticky outy, if that makes sense. It looks quite forward. So I think they definitely could have reduced maybe the volume, brought it a little bit closer. Another thing I don't like about it, and this was the same problem that I had the VX1, I have ugh, a big nose and this, does not have a big nose pocket. So again, getting in there. I think they could have made this bit a bit wider again so you can get in there. I don't think it's as bad as the VX1, or maybe it's just because I was using that with gloves, but it doesn't, there's, there's not as much space there as I'm used to on my XD. And for me, the nose pocket and that being quite scrunched up, you know, after an hour, hour and a half, that's going to cause me sore nose. So I think they could have been, oh, excuse me, a smidge more generous with the nose pocket just side on there it's it's just not very big it's quite small so if you've got a little small delicate dainty hooter uh, you'll be absolutely fine i don't like the bug eye again that's not my style i very much like the single lens so this two style bug eye thing again i just find it more difficult to clear so yeah that would probably be a deal breaker for me as well the molding looks a lot better than the vx1 that was just crap and what i mean by that is if you can have a look here don't you see the mold line there on the vx1 there was bits of silicon all over the place and there was seams all over the place this one seems to be just sort of a two two seam mold which is probably a bit better it says easy adjust with the quick release and the quick release again i'll get some close-up shots but you basically just press that button in there and you know, it moves. Oh, is that any different to the VX1? Let's have a look. We shall compare. No, that's got exactly the same mechanism. And again, if we have a look at the nose pocket there and there, in fact, actually the VX2, I'm just trying to get it away from there, <laughs> you can see it. The VX2 seems to have like a, a blunted bit here. So it's probably even smaller, which is why it's not good for me. Head straps, okay, look. 
identical, okay? So they don't look any different. I will get a dive with this. I will borrow this off Ian when he's back from Scapa and I will give it a, a thorough underwater test and I'll do some shots and I'll give you my full opinion. Like I say, this is only a desktop one at the second. So anyway, that's the mask. What do you think of it? It's all right, it's okay. It's stylistically very nice, but apart from that, meh. It, it, it kind of is what it is, isn't it? Small nose pocket and yeah, not as good a range of vision as the X-Deep, which is my preferred mask at the moment, anyway. So we'll put that to one side. What I really want to talk about is Apex bullshit and greenwashing as well is absolutely shocking. So Ian's had this mask for a while and you will notice that I got this mask out of this box, yeah? Which is, and this is gonna shock you, a beaver box, okay? Now, beaver's an all right brand, but it is very much a budget brand, and you know, you get what you pay for with beaver. It's not a lot, you don't pay a lot, you don't get a very lot. But still, this very, very nice Apex VX1 mask is now living in a beaver box. Now, why is that? And I'm gonna say, if you own one of these, you know why this is, you know what I'm gonna say, because half the selling point of this mask is the box. Yeah, if you have a look what it says on the website, a premium, you know, EVA box, you know, well, what's EVA, okay? Um, we'll, we'll come back to that, but premium box, yeah, in plastic-free wrapping. Amazing, plastic-free. Bullshit. The wrapping, that bit of cardboard, yeah, is plastic-free. This is all plastic. EVA, show you on the computer now, Wikipedia yourself, EVA, is plastic. This is a plastic box. This is a plastic box. What makes this so bad is A, they're calling it EVA to try and fool you. Oh, it's not plastic, it's EVA, okay? EVA is plastic, okay? Worse, this plastic is not all one type of plastic. You've got a different plastic on the zip, you've got a different, this will be polyester on here. Uh, this is gonna be an EVA type covering this is a different type of EVA and it will have a plastic stiffener in there as well probably a different type of EVA so to recycle this you have to break that down into all its different bits to recycle it here there and everywhere because each bit goes into a different recycling stream this is one plastic you took the whole lot into the recycling it all goes into the one box okay this is like 10,000 times more difficult to recycle than this. And yet they are putting it in a little bit of paper, calling it EVA and going, oh yeah, we use plastic free pa uh, packaging. Yeah, they do, but it's bullshit. It's distracting bullshit, okay? The other thing about this is it's not practical in any way, shape or form, okay? It's the same box and I've got the same issues with it as I did in my review on the website. And the issue is this, okay? This is Ian's box from his first VX1, and I will show you this, okay? That's the zip. Twice he took this on the boat, two times. It got a little bit of salt water on it, and that's what happened. It salted up, it rusted up, it's whatever it did, it jammed up, and he pulled the zip handle off, and it does not move, which makes this box about as much use as the proverbial condom machine in the Vatican. Okay, absolutely useless. A very nice vanity item. And let's, let's you know, you're paying 162 pounds for this mask. How much you pay for the mask and how much you pay for the box? How much do you reckon this must be compared to how much this snazzy thing must be? That is useless, that is terrible for the environment and is just crap, okay? Pretty looking shite. If you get one of these, yeah, do yourself a favor. Go and buy the 499 beaver box to actually put your mask in, yeah? Because that is much more useful on the boat. Completely impervious to salt, rinses off, never fails. And put your like vaginal jewelry in that because that's all you're gonna need to put in there, okay? Because that's all it's useful for. It's a jewelry box, leave it at home, put it away to the side. Absolute garbage. I wish to just say this is a cool looking mask. It's got shiny metal bits on and it makes you look like a robot. Uh, and I'd buy that shit. I would buy that, but it's this, oh, it's got super clear glass. Bollocks, okay? It's, you know, it's super robust, you know? It's got carbon fiber in it, apparently. Now, I've had a good look 
I'm no carbon fiber expert, but you know, it's none of that like shiny stuff that you see on like cars and stuff in it. Uh, it says it's carbon fiber filled, packed or something. Let's have a look at the website. It says what it is. Uh, I can't see it. I don't know, looks like plastic to me around the outside on the frame. Um, but yeah, it's it, maybe, maybe, but I don't know. But it just, it, you know, it looks cool. You cannot fault them for styling, but does it make any difference to your diving? Is this mask going to change the way you dive? Is it going to revolutionise the way? No, it's a bloody mask for 162 quid. It's crazy. Does it look smart? Yeah, it looks fab. Am I buying one? Absolutely not. I'll just pay the 60 quid and save the other 100 quid to do other things with like, um, oh no, a day's diving might come in handy. So anyway, we'll get Ian's view of it when he gets back. I will take it out for a couple of goes in the wild. You never know. I might be amazed and stunned by it, but I really don't think it is. I just think it's another example of the Aqualung group taking the piss out of the Apex name and taking what used to be a good, innovative company that made real quality dive gear putting some bling on it and selling it to chumps for vast amounts of money. So yeah, sorry Ian. I did tell you before you bought it that I thought you were an idiot to buy it, but you bought it anyway and you've let me do a video on it. So thank you very much. Uh, if anybody from Apex wants to argue and wants to sit and have a chat with me and tell me how great these boxes are, I am welcome to it. You've got my contact details, they're down below. Happy to chat. But apart from that guys, if you've got one of these, I think it, it says what it says about you. So yeah, it's just, all style, and probably very little substance. So anyway guys, that's it. Leave your comments down below. Am I right, am I wrong? Am I talking utter shite and should I be supporting these UK companies? Not in the UK, but in my mind more. Leave your comments down below. But other than that, I've got another video coming up soon about the seal diving that we did the other weekend. So that should be nice and exciting. And I'm off down to Bobster in a couple of weekends as well. So if you are down south and do fancy meeting up, July 8th, I think I'm there. I'm hanging out with Jurassic Diver. If you've not seen any of his stuff, then I will leave a link down below and up there, so do check it out. And if you're knocking around Bobster on the 8th, then please come along and have a chat. If you're from Apex and wanna come along and have a chat and loan me one of these, we'll go and have a whirl. I will see if it's any good, um, I doubt it. But anyway, I'm open to it, guys. So other than that, as always, I will see you boys and girls on the next one.